We have a backup opportunity tomorrow with a liftoff time of 12.05 p.m. Eastern. Stage two locks load closed out. And we've got confirmation. Stage two locks loading is complete. And that completes loading of the over 1.1 million pounds of propellants on the Falcon 9. All systems remain go for launch. Right now we are beginning to drain the propellant out of the lines that go up the strong back to the second stage. And that's creating the large white cloud you see around the strong back. Pressure from that ultra cold locks line is vented overboard and it meets up with the warm moist Florida air. Now our next event will be startup called out at T minus one minute. At that point, the first and second stage computers on Falcon 9 are executing stored programs to prepare the rocket for flight, leading to ignition of the Merlin engines at T minus two seconds and lift off at T zero. Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon computers are running the final sequence for launch. We're also pressurizing first and second stage tanks for liftoff pressure. The MD is go for launch. We've heard the call out. The Space Force mission director is go for launch. T minus 33 seconds and counting. All systems go for launch. Minus 30 seconds. Let's listen into terminal count and watch as Falcon 9 transports the U.S. Space Forces. GPS-3 Space Vehicle Number 5 satellite into orbit. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. Go Falcon, go GPS. is pitching downrange. Stage one, chamber pressures are nominal. T plus, T plus 36 seconds. SpaceX launch engineers report nominal conditions on Falcon 9. We begin the trip to space carrying the GPS-3 satellite. Merlin engine's about to throttle down. We're in the Nominal throttle bucket. Decreasing acceleration of preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. Great views looking aft towards Cape Canaveral. Vehicle is supersonic. We're throttled back up to full power. We're out of the throttle bucket and we're supersonic. Now from here on, even though velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, and that's resulting in less loads on the Falcon 9. And you heard the call through the next queue, so the loads are now decreasing on the launch vehicle. And back engine chill started. Call out says the bleed valve on second stage engine is open, and that's beginning a final chill of the MVAC engine prior to second stage ignition. All's looking good with the stage one trajectory. And we've got three events coming up in quick succession. We're gonna have main engine cutoff, MECO as we call it. The first and second stages will then separate, and then we will have ignition of the second stage engine to propel Falcon 9 into the first parking orbit. Beginning to throttle down the first stage engines to hold 4G constant acceleration. Coming up on main engine cutoff. Mika. 
stage separation confirmed. And we've got, if you can hear the cheering in the background, successful stage separation. Second stage is now under power of the single pillar injection engine. You may have noticed some curved pieces uh, of metal come off the end of the nozzle right after ignition. That's normal. These are ground the handling. Calling. I'm going to check. Needed in flight. You hear the call out following factory. With the left side of your screen, you can see the first stage grid fins, the titanium grid fins have deployed. Coming up next, fairing separation. Acquisition signal, Po Monkey. Fairing separation. Nice view from the second stage camera showing successful fairing deploy as Falcon 9 is passing through 110 kilometers altitude. Now we will be able to retrieve these new fairing halves with the help of our contracted recovery vessel, HOS Briarwood. Now currently, Falcon 9 is heading northeast along the U.S. coast. We are sending telemetry down through the SpaceX Bermuda Ground Station. Those vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectory. As we pass four minutes and 20 seconds into flight, all systems are go. Acquisition as, signal Bermuda. As Falcon 9 carries GPS into space. It's T plus four minutes and 45 seconds to today's mission. And we're currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for satellite deployment. You can see from the live views on your right, the second stage MVAC engine is burning. And there on your left is a live view of the Falcon 9 first stage as it's preparing to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. At T plus six minutes and 18 seconds, you should see on your screen stages entry burn. This is just a, in just about a minute. This burn will last about 30 seconds. Acquisition is signal. And for the entry burn, we relight the center E9 engine on the first stage. And then partway through, we relight the E1. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And E5 engine. So we will have a total of three M1D engines helping to slow the vehicle down as it comes back into the Earth's atmosphere. You can see a great uh, live look at that Falcon 9 first stage there as it's coming back down. Now, the Falcon 9 supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the second time, and both fairing halves will re enter for the first time. This booster previously supported the November 2020 GPS 3 mission, and we're pretty excited to watch today's landing because it marks the first mission we're supporting for the U.S. Space Force with a flight proven booster. Now, entry burn will start in just a few seconds here. Listen for the call out. Stage one, flight termination system is. Stage one, entry burn has started. You can call out and you can see on your screen, stage one, entry burn has started. This burn lasts about 30 seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. We did have a successful stage one entry burn there. And now while Falcon 9 Both makes vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. While Falcon 9 makes its way back to Earth, you may notice that there are different soot markings soot markings on the outer covering of the rocket. You can maybe just see them on your screen on the left there. Now, if you've ever wondered how these markings are formed, the set is generated when the carbon-based rocket-grade kerosene, or RP-1, burns. And since our re-entry occurs engines first, the booster flies through its own plume, which deposits the soot on the rocket there. Now, coming up next will be our landing burn, which will be at T plus eight minutes and seven seconds. This will also last about 30 seconds, and it will 
uh, hopefully land our first stage on our drone ship just between instructions. Stage one, transonic. Off the Atlantic coast. You heard the call out that stage one is now transonic. Stage two is under terminal guidance. Now, one second after the start of the landing burn, we will actually have second engine cutoff stage on stage two flight termination system is safe. The second stage on the right. So we're both coming up in just a few seconds here. Stage one landing burn started. You can see that stage one entry burn. Seco one. La landing burn. <laughs> and Seco one. There's the first stage coming in. Landing legs are deployed. Terminal parking orbit. <laughs> what a beautiful What a beautiful view of that first stage landing. And we did get a confirmation from our second page. Phenomenal orbit. You can hear the cheering in the background. Everyone's really excited. <laughs> Um, we did, again, have a confirmation of a nominal orbital insertion. And of course, we saw that beautiful landing of our Falcon 9 first stage on our drone ship, just to read the instructions. And there you have it. You've just witnessed Falcon 9's 19th landing for this year and SpaceX's 88th overall successful recovery of our first stage. Now, at this time, our mission is in the second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. Coasting in this orbit will last about 53 minutes. We'll relight that MBAC engine for us.